day, dear ladies and gentlemen. We are glad to welcome you at Progress Asenev Aviation Company, the place where a Camo 52K ship-based combat scout attack helicopter is manufactured. I'm representative of the joint stock company Rosa Baron Expert, and now we would like to bring you a detailed presentation. So Camo 52K has comprised all the best combat and design capabilities. Thus, it is intended to participate in anti-amphibious defense, including destruction of surface ships, tanks, armored and unarmored military equipment, helicopters and manpower of the enemy, on the far front and in tactical depth. Moreover, it is intended to provide reconnaissance of targets and targets distribution to interacting helicopters and ground command posts, as well as surface command posts. It is uh, notable to mention that it can perform all the assigned tasks round the clock in all weather conditions. It is protected for operation in severe sea environment and it has interactive channels with ship posts, with ship systems. The helicopter has a coaxial rotor design that ensures great altitude and climb rates up to 16 meters per second, improved maneuverability and controllability, high accuracy of hovering and a resistance to wind disturbances that makes it possible for the helicopter to be operated above sea areas when exposed to powerful air currents. Another advantage of the coaxial rotor design is increased thrust of the main rotor blades and high turn rate. Thanks to the aerodynamic symmetry of the helicopter, it can perform new types of combat maneuvers, which are which will be demonstrated for you in the following video episodes. Those combat maneuvers are flat turn towards the target, moving sideways at high speeds, deep glides of high pitch level up to 30-35 degrees, that's called vortex. Moreover, due to the absence of the tail rotor, Camo 52K has lower dimensions and higher safety when operating on the deck of the ship. To reduce dimension of the helicopter, it is equipped with the, the main rotor hub is equipped with the blade folding mechanism and a wing console section is equipped with pivoting mechanism. So, each wing console section consists of three parts. Those are fixed wing section, undocking, wing undocking mechanism, and rotating wing section. It should be noted that folding of the main rotor blades and rotating wing section is provided manually, 180 degrees back relative to the swiveling point swizzling blocks. What's more important, the helicopter has retractable landing gears that provides better flight performances and high aerodynamic indicators for basing on the deck of a ship or in the hangar. Camo 52K is fitted out with mooring points. Thus, the dimensions of the Camo 52K are as follows. The fuselage length of the Camo 52K is 13.87 meters. The storage height is 5.1 meters. The diameter of the rotor blades is 14.5 meters. And the wingspan is 6.3 meters folded 4.3 meters. 
Helen 52K has great flight specifications. Due to effective constructive and design ideas, the maximum speed of flight is up to 300 km per hour. Cruising speed is up to 260 km per hour. Maximum takeoff weight 12,200 kilos. The weight of the maximum combat payload is 2,900 kilos. It can be operated in hot climate, humid, tropical and all other weather conditions. Due to the coaxial rotor design, the service ceiling is up to 5,500 meters. The hovering ceiling is 4,000 meters. The flight range of the Kamo 52K is 460 kilometers. The endurance of flight is 2 hours 35 minutes. It can be based on the deck of a ship, at sea platforms. It can take off and land on various helicopter pads, paved, unpaved, at the altitude of up to 4,000 meters. The minimum size of the helicopter pad is 35 by 35 meters. And now let's move on to the armament system of the helicopter. To engage a wide range of ground, surface and low altitude air targets, Kama 52K is equipped with the powerful armament complex. We'd like to start with description of the helicopter's gun. So, Kama 52K is equipped with two A42 gun, which is designed to engage lightly armored and unarmored ground targets, manpower, as well as enemy air targets with 30 mm round. The destruction range is up to 4 km. The ammunition load is up to 460 rounds. The gun is partially flexible with a tracking drive allowing to aim the gun and track targets at certain angles. Down 37 degrees, up 3 degrees, to the right 9 degrees and to the left 2 degrees. S8 KOM unguided rockets are designed for effective destruction of armored targets, lightly armored targets and enemies' manpower in shelters. The range of destruction is 3.5 kilometers. The ammunition load is up to 80 rockets. Attacker anti-tank guided missiles are designed to destroy modern armored vehicles, including those equipped with explosive reactive armor, armored targets, pinpoint ground, surface and low altitude air targets. The range of destruction is up to 6 kilometers. The ammunition load is up to 16 missiles. Guidance system semi-automatic optical laser. Vihar 1 guided missiles are designed to destroy surface ships, armored vehicles, including those equipped with explosive reactive armor, as well as low speed air targets. The destruction range is up to 10 kilometers. The ammunition load is up to 12 missiles. Guidance system, optical electronic, laser. Strelets complex is designed to destroy low-flying, low-altitude air targets with IGLA S air-to-air -air class missiles. The destruction range is up to 6 kilometers. The ammunition load is up to 4 missiles. The helicopter is equipped with two VK. 2500P engines with FADEC digital engine control and anti surge protection. Takeoff power is 2400 horsepower. In the emergency mode, power is 2800 horsepower. In case of the emergency and one engine inoperative, the helicopter can continue its flight return to the basing point, basing airfield, and land safely with one engine. TA-14 auxiliary power unit is designed to provide the helicopter with power supply to ensure main engines launch at the altitudes of up to 
4,000 meters. Its continuous running time is 5 hours. As for the helicopter's cockpit, it has a side-by-side -side arrangement that provides better information perception by both crew members, interaction and coordination in combat situation, as well as the duplication of helicopter controls and provision of the training tasks. The airborne avionics systems of the helicopter combines the information and control field of the cockpit, navigation complex, surveillance sighting system, optical electronic and radar systems of the helicopter, self-defense complex, airborne communication system. The information and control field of the helicopter provides the pilots with information. So it is a set of information display facilities and controls of all helicopter aggregates and systems. Apart from electromechanical instruments, color multifunctional indicators are installed where the following information from onboard equipment and system is displayed. Piloting, PLT frame. The piloting frame is a set of indicators that is required for helicopter piloting. In the mode of displaying the HE information on multifunctional display, the information about engine's operation, hydraulic system, fuel system, electrical power supply system and other general helicopter systems is indicated. Navigation, NVG frame, is a field of conventional map with the image of current flight route around which all the indication elements of the navigation environment are located. AV, air weapons page, indicates the quantity of ammunition at a definite suspension point for all types of weapons suspended on the helicopter. Air weapons page displays conventional side of the helicopter with indication of left and right sides, type of weapon installed on the suspension point, and a number of weapons arranged on the suspension point. In OES mode, infrared and TV image of the locality received from cameras of OES optical electronic system is displayed on the screen. Flight, navigation and sighting data can be displayed over the image. The RDR radar frame shows information received from the civilians and targeting station and the airborne radar. Application of the night vision goggles provide night takeoff, landing of the helicopter, detection of the mast and power line type obstacles, road and armored vehicles at a distance of more than 500 meters. The cabin is fully adapted for the use of the night vision goggles. To provide pilots targeting, ILS 28K head-up display is installed in the cockpit. That's a pilot's sight. It is intended to display pilot navigation and sighting data on a display in flight and air weapons combat application modes. The helicopter can be equipped with the OES multi-channel round-the-clock civilian sighting system that can be operated in two modes, TV and thermal mode. When searching for the individual targets, the civilian sighting system can provide detection of tank type targets at the distance of at least 15 kilometers and recognition at the distance of no less than 12 kilometers in favorable and partially adverse weather conditions. When searching for the individual targets in the thermal mode, the civilian sighting system can detect tank type targets at a distance of more than 12 kilometers and identification recognition at the distance of 8 kilometers in simple and partially adverse weather conditions. Kama 52 is the only helicopter in its class that is equipped with the emergency escape system that provides ejection and safe landing of both crew members with a parachute.
The system works reliably in controlled and uncontrolled flights over the all ranges of altitudes and speeds. The launch of the catapult system is provided by one of the crew members and it ensures ejection of both crew members in automated mode. And now I'll cover the description of this ejection uh, system process. At first, main rotor blades jettison. The emergency exit are formatted by destroying the glass cockpit. Then towing engines are launched. So both pilots are pulled outside the cockpit. Then parachute deploys and as a result safe parachute descent. In order to increase combat survivability the following measures were implemented. Armoring of the helicopter's cockpit, protection of the critically important components with less important structural elements and equipment blocks, split placing of main engines from both sides, fitting out with President S optical electronic self-defense complex and exhaust heat shields and dual control both for pilot and operator that's important in case of the injury or even death of one of the crew members it rates a mention that in case of the emergency situation and total loss of oil main engines and the main gearbox remain operational for the further 30 minutes. Another feature of the Kama 52K helicopter is its equipment with the President S self-defense complex that ensures identification of air-to-air, -air, surface to air, missile launches and coordinates. It provides successive suppression of minimum two missiles on all their ranges and angles of combat operation. So the composition of the President S self-defense complex is as follows. A control unit, missile attack warning system, laser warning system, radar warning system, optical electronic jamming station and flares dispenser unit. Radar warning system is designed to provide detection, direction finding and data transmission of the most threatening modes of the radar self-homing heads. Thank you very much for your attention and please subscribe to our official YouTube Rosa Baron Expert channel. See you in the next video.